Hey guys, and welcome to the deck profile for Shadal Bell. So yes, Shadal Bell is off, and uh, it will now be on uh, on Daily Duels instead. So uh, gonna go ahead and just do the deck profile for Shadal Bell. It'll be off. You'll get double vitamin one today. So you're getting this, and you're also getting the return of Yubel and Zephyr. I think the only deck in vitamin Y forever to be on there, get taken off with a deck profile, and then get put right back on. Because you could technically say that uh, Zombie Vice did the same thing, but I never gave Zombie Vice a farewell. You know, I never gave it a, a farewell deck profile. I kind of just, uh, you know, said that, you know, uh, it did its little temporariness, and then I just, you know, it was gone. You know, it's there temporarily just to be as a place filler. But then I really started to like the deck. You know, it was just an experiment that I wanted to go ahead and try, and for the time being, for the Yubel deck making competition. But, uh, you know, it's definitely earned its place here on Vitamin Y, of course. Um, now, uh, instead of Yubel and Zephyr being on Saturday, and that's, it's on Sunday, and Shadal Yubel is on, I mean, and uh, Zombie Vice is on Saturday. But, you know, it doesn't matter uh, the order as long as they're here. So, you know, I kind of felt like this deck wasn't really a Yubel deck. It was really just a Shadal deck with Yubel in it. And uh, I was just kind of not really for it. So I was just like, you know what? I'm not doing this. So I thought, and I was like, you know what? Let me just put Shadals on Daily Duels. That way I can I can be Dirty Dan on Daily Duels. And while here on Vitamin Y, we have fun with Yubel. Because this really wasn't a Yubel deck. It was a little bit too meta to be here on Vitamin Y. You know, well, this isn't this isn't competitive time. This is this is a uh, have fun with different Yubel deck time, and this clearly wasn't really a Yubel deck. So uh, I was just like, you know what? Not for this. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this deck off of uh, Vitamin Y forever here. Give it its farewell deck profile. If you guys want to see Sh uh, Shadal still on my channel, of course it'll be on Daily Duels on Friday. Um, then uh, of course the deck that was on Friday trains is now becoming a tank deck. So the decks that are it's going to be a tag deck. It's either going to be uh, Heraldics, um, Clocky Mirror, or Hungry Man. Whichever one is taken off, you'll get three Daily Duels on that day. You'll get the deck profile of the deck that's being taken off, and then two Daily Duels. One with each tag partner using, of, tra of course, Trains, which will now be a tag deck. So, um, yeah, this is uh, the next step in the closure of the Great Migration. Just uh, taking Shadal Yubel off and the uh, return of Yubel and Zector. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the deck profile. Tell you things that, uh, the reason why I did some things and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, you know, hopefully you guys understand. It's not the best deck in the world, and, uh, I guess I'll give my reasons why I didn't really like this deck besides this. It wasn't really working with, you know, you know, you belt. And, yeah, it's all hard. So, of course, uh, you do not see any, uh, mathematicians in here. I was going back and forth between mathematician. Uh, I was running him for a little while, because, you know, mathematician is technically stronger than Armageddon Knight. But my problem with, uh, with it is that I felt like by running mathematician, I was taking away Yubel's involvement. You know, what card is more involved with, you know, Yubel? Of course, Armageddon Knight. You know, mathematician can't do anything with Yubel. So, by instead replacing, uh, the mathematician's Armageddon Knight, I can get Yubel more involved. I can send Shadal's. I can do exactly the same thing I did with, uh, mathematician. Except now I can also send you bell, so I decided to go with the Armageddon Knights. Uh, usually I would run a Dark Refer in here, but of course, you know, I could fuse with, from my hand. So if I could fuse from my hand and I can get, you know, if I draw you bell and I'm like, oh man, I don't have Dark Refer, I could just be like, alright, Shadal Fusion, send you bell, send the Shadal, bam, there's Midrash right there, and now I've got you bell in the graveyard, so, you know, it really wasn't necessary for this deck to have, um, uh, Dark Refer. You know, also, there's not a lot of Warriors in here. So, you know, I was like, well, they, you know, Shadal Dex, they run Triple Mathematician. I'm just going to run Triple Armageddon Knight. But, you know, in a sense, it's still the same exact thing. All right. Uh, next, I ran Triple Mass Chameleon. Mass Chameleon was one of the reasons why I decided to go with this deck here on uh, Vine and Wines. Because, of course, you guys know I love using Mass Chameleon to summon back Yubel. And defense well effect negated. So, you know, you got, you know, if you destroy my Yubel, I get, I do get Terror. So that's a nice play. But, of course, uh, Shadal Dragon here has zero defense, level four. So I can go ahead and do... Uh, some XC plays. I really don't do a Synchro play. I wasn't really sending that. It was mostly four XCs. So, uh, uh, also, the extra X space was very, very cramped and limited. So, I decided to go ahead and, uh, you know, just use that for mainly XC plays. But you can sync into eight. So, uh, there you go. Ran one beast. I know I'm bad. <laughs> I thought at first, I was like, oh, you never want to draw a beast. Beast isn't good. You don't want beast in your hand. Beast doesn't do anything. Just run that one. You, you know, you can always bring it back with Falco. You know, I was wrong. I was totally wrong. I was wrong, 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 wrong. I was wrong, all right? Yeah, and definitely I realized I was wrong when, uh, you know, I put Shadals on Daily Duels and I'm running multiple beasts. You know, because when you fuse it up, you still get that drawing. You just draw, 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 draw. So, 
uh, definitely beast is just definitely good you know if there was any mistake that I made with this deck it's clearly running one beast you know especially with this damn number generator because that means I'm just gonna draw the one beast all the freaking time which of course I did so uh, you know should all beast uh, it should be ran uh, you know especially with the faster and aggressive version more aggressive versions of shadows that are running around nowadays in the meta you know definitely you always see three beasts you don't you'll see like two hedgehogs or one falco but you'll see three beasts because you know just remember to go ahead and fuse and send beasts and draw a card it's just so powerful you know it, it, pay, it kind of pays you back because you go of course you go should all fusion you take two monsters and fuse them into one so you know you're using fusion and two cards to summon one monster, so it's technically a neck tube of beast can go ahead and draw you a card, and then whatever the other shell monster you send will, in fact, will go off and, uh, you know, uh, hopefully get you a plus. So, uh, you know, that's the reason why you should run multiple beasts. So, I say, out of all the mistakes in this deck, it's definitely the beast. So, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Alright, next is, uh, of course, Shadal Dragon. Uh, I love his, uh, uh, send from. Send to the graveyard by card effect. Just pop in. You know, that whole uh, return cards in hand is kind of depending because, you know, if they have something that they could just simply normal summon again and get an effect like off of that, you know, a nice uh, trigger effect, then uh, of course I don't want to bounce. But, you know, if it's like a nice XC or Synchro and I can just go ahead and get rid of it, then of course your Dolly Dragon is uh, nice. But then uh, just send, pop, send, pop, you know. It's the reason why I really didn't feel like I need to run MST in this deck because I can just send Dragon, so. Uh, definitely Shadow Dragon is nice, and I like him. All right, uh, I ran Triple Falco. Uh, Falco, he, he kept me in the duels when I didn't have the fusion, you know, just being able to flip up and get something, set that, and keep going, so I definitely like the, the Falco. Uh, it's not really necessary at 3. I probably could have cut it down and ran more beasts, but, uh, you know, I was totally fine with Falco doing its thing. Uh, ran, of course, Triple Hedgehog, because the quicker I get to my fusions, the better. I know a lot of the competitive uh, Shadal decks, they're not even running, uh, you know, a lot of Hedgehogs. But I'd say the quicker I get to, uh, uh, you know, my fusions, the quick, the quicker I can, you know, get my play started. Because I kind of feel like Shadals are definitely lackluster uh, if you do not have the fusions to go ahead and uh, do anything with. You know, if you don't have if you don't have anything to fuse with, your, your plays on it's powerful, it's kinda of lackluster. So uh that's why in the deck that's on currently on Daily Duels the Shadal Belt deck, we are running so many fusions. We are running triple hedgehog, triple fusion, triple El Shadal, triple Nef Shadal, uh triple uh hidden armory, like we are straight out fuse, alright? Because you know, your fusions are what's strong, you fuse you can uh, get their effects, you can continue playing, you know. If this deck didn't if this deck was just uh just a Monster Effect deck with no fusions at all, and that wasn't what it did, then this deck really wouldn't be much, now would it? But because it's an, uh, it's the purple tar card deck, it's purple, and the monsters are purple, everything is purple, 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 you know? Even the thumbnail is purple, so it's a purple deck, so you gotta fuse it up, so, um, you know, I definitely think that uh, getting to your fusion cards as quickly as possible and then being able to fuse as, uh, as fast as possible is the best choice. And then uh, I ran Triple Squamata, I probably could have cut this down to like, you know, two. You know, some decks run one, some decks run two. Probably could have cut it down. You know, uh, the deck on daily duels right now, the Shadal deck, it runs the max number, except for Hound. I know well, it's three beasts, three dragon, three Falco, three Hedgehog, three Skelmato. Because yes, I increased the number of fusion cards, but I need to make sure I have some Shadal monsters. So by increasing those counts and increasing the fusion counts, I pretty much can fuse all the damn time. And you know, that's what definitely makes that deck strong. It's just being able to fuse all the time, all the time, all the time. So, uh, you know. Uh, Squad is pretty good, you know, Squad sends that extra Shadal, so you can just be like, alright, you know, I'm gonna get a knight, send, uh, you know, Squad to Squamata, send Falco, and Falco will come back, Falco, get Squamata, and then that flips, top a card, monster on the field, so, uh, you know, uh, Squamata has its combo, so, uh, at first I wasn't a big fan of Squamata, but I started to like it, so, yeah. Alright, of course we run one of each Bell, draw it all the damn time. But that's fine, because in this deck I can of course fuse into an easy, uh, Winda, because they're dark, so that's all I need is one Shadal, uh, you know, the bell fuse right into window. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Alright, next we run one outstanding dog, Maron. Ah, uh, hate this card because, you know, here on this goddamn number generator, I always draw this card. Like, like it's, <laughs> the thing with this dog is, it's a stupid dog that makes me look bad <laughs> because I like to run it, but then I draw it all the damn time. Like, if I would drew, if I would have drew, um, Nefarious Archery and Nefariousness, half as much as I would have drew the Outstanding Dog, I wouldn't even been mad, because I love this card. But this card, like, you don't do shit. So, but, unless I'm fusing. But this card, I, I love it, you know? 
uh, you know, I'm there's a ton of Shadala decks, you know, there was a, you know, uh, you know, Light Sword Shadalas, and there's Artifact Shadalas, and then, you know, there's like, um, you know, Deco Seca Shadalas. But, you know, the, the thing is that, you know, you're running those decks, you're running those cards so they can be your light targets, correct? I think Ascend Dog might be the best light target just because you only need to run one. When this card is sent to Gage Ride, it goes back to the deck. So, you can just go, alright, Shadal Fusion, I'm going to send Dog and a Shadal. Bam, Construct. Oh, you kept my Construct? Alright, my Shadal Fusion goes right back. Shadal Fusion, send Outstanding Dog, and bam, go again, go again, again. It, it, it will, it's the light target that will always be there for you. And that's the reason why I love Outstanding Dog Maran. Um, I, in the deck on Daily Duels, the Shadal deck, I still, even though I'm running Deco Seca, but I would rather use Outstanding Dog Maran than Deco Seca, because, you know, Deco Seca, you know, the more Deco Secas you have, you know, the more consistent Deco Seca you have, the, you know, the more consistent you can just, you know, step on your opponent's uh, uh, background, lock the duel down, you know, very monster heavy deck. So, uh, you know, I'd rather just send Ascendant Dogmar on. Uh, I'm still testing out the whole Baby Chaos Rulers, but the thing with the whole Baby Chaos Rulers is I'm not doing the one of Club Thrive and I'm not doing Gab. So, uh, that whole combo thing is not really for me. So, that's the reason why I'm not really running the Baby Chaos Dragon. No, so my only light targets are, you know, Zeka Seka and Maran. And Maran has definitely put in that work. Uh, you know, for all the crap that I give it for being the stupid dog that makes me look bad and being is trying to be Curry the Cowardly Dog. Uh, you know, I don't mind this card being in the deck. You know, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's, a, that's a pretty smart idea. So, uh, yeah, there you go. I'll send the dog on. And then, of course, I uh, decided to go ahead and throw Nefarious Artrina Nefariousness in here. So I can turn uh, whatever you bell I want to any form, or I can also destroy my Shadal monsters by uh, card effect, and, you know, they get their effects. But uh, also, it's an Earth target. Uh, I think I've Shadal fused into uh, Shikinaga using uh, Artrina. Uh, Nefarious Archery and Nefarious since I think once. I've never done it with uh, Mass Chameleon. I'd rather hold on to my Mass Chameleons than Fuse into Shikinaga. You know, that's just me personally because this can, this card can help me come back, especially if Dragon's Bay, right? I can easily go into an XC and handle a particular situation or, you know, a Senkar and handle a situation. But, uh, you know, Nefarious Archery and Nefarious, I love this card. I wish I saw it more often because when I get this card in a duel here on the uh, Vladimir Y, I, it definitely puts it at work. So, um, I'm still, and also, and also, I can actually have special limits, because, you know, they're all special. I don't think I've ever done it, but you could. You know, if you control, uh, so I can you can special summon this card from your hand. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever done that, because, you know, everybody is a, a spell, oh, no, you're a fairy, and where are you? You're a machine, but, you know, you're a spellcaster, you're all spellcasters, so, you know, I could have done that, but, you know, I just never did. So, I was thinking about maybe, yo, oh, increasing, increasing, uh, nefarious, actually nefariousness in, uh, various Jadal decks, just so I can see it more often, but, you know, if it's not, even if it's at one, I'm just never seeing this card. You think, you know, if I drew this card as much as I, half the much time as I drew Ubel, I would be ha much happier, because I really like this card. It really does put in that work. So, uh, I really like it. Yep. Uh, alright, so that's the monsters. 24, lots of monsters. Uh, Shadal's very monster heavy, not that girl heavy at all, you know. Uh, in the deck on Daily Duels, I think the only trap card I'm running is Sinister Shadow Games, and I'm still debating on that. You know, because, you know, with my high amounts of uh, Shadal Monsters and my high amounts of Fusion cards, this card is really kind of slow, you know. I'm not really, I'm setting, but I'm not, you know, setting that often. I think about just, you know, taking out the three Shadow Games, three, throwing in three Royal Decrees, and go th Royal Decrees, and Deck of Seca's locking down my opponent's back row, then fusing and fusing and fusing, kick their butt. So, uh, we might try that this upcoming uh, Friday on Daily Duels instead of Sinister Shadow Games going Royal Decree, because I know there's a lot of uh, Shadal decks. I know there's this one Shadal deck at the top, and I think the only Shadal card, trap card it ran was core. I think that was it. Just one core. They actually took out Shadow Games. And I was like, wow, he took out Shadow Games? Shadow Games is so good. But then, you, think, you can actually see the route that Shadows are going to being a lot more aggressive. And it's like, you know what? You really don't need Shadow Games. If you're going to be as aggressive as, you know, the top Shadow deck uh, is, and those ones that are topping, uh, you know, with Danko Seca and stuff, you don't really need Shadow Games. It's actually kind of slow, you know? And especially when, you know, when you run as many fusions as me, when you run three fusions and three Ashadar fusions and three Nepshadar fusions and, you know, and three Hatchhawks and three Hidden, you know, you get those fusions real time, you just fuse and fuse and fuse and fuse and fuse and you could easily OTK. So, uh, you know, with that one deck topping that ran no, that uh, ran no Sinister game, Shadow Games and then, of course, the first day of it being on Daily Duels, it helped me just a little bit. But, uh, you know, uh, you know, with uh, with three uh, Dunkasekas and uh, three Royal Decrees, I think that you could just completely just lock it down and easily OTK. So, uh, you know, I just want to go ahead and discuss that. But, uh, yeah, monster heavy, very monster heavy, but not really back row heavy, like I said. 
not just throw out a crease. Just because I throw out a crease, it's like, oh, it's not gonna be attacked deck. No, no, no. Stalls, that's too dirty. That's too dirty. It's gonna, it's gonna be its own deck. It's being dirty and strong and OCK for a reason. So it's, it's its own thing. It's not gonna be, it's not ever gonna become a tag deck. So let me quickly go through spells. I ran, of course, the one foolish. Foolish is just like I'm again knight, except I don't have to use my normal summon. Great card. Uh, triple Shadal Fusion. This card is ridiculous. Uh, definitely think that maybe this card should go down to like maybe two. You know, I still say out of all, out of Fusion, El Shadal Fusion, and Nep Shadal Fusion, I still say that regular Shadal Fusion is the strongest just because uh, you could fuse from your deck if your opponent has a monster summon from the usher deck. Oh, that's ridiculous, you know? This card may be annoying and, you know, may cause some OCKs, but, you know, all it is is just a quick poly. That's all it is, you know? They still got a fuse from their hand and, you know, or their side of the field, you know? This is pulling resources from the deck. This is not even negging, you know? It's just straight up plussing at this point, depending on what you send, you know? Because you're using one fusion to summon one fusion monster, but then you get all the effects of all the monsters that are sent from the deck, you know? You're just going, you know, this card... That's just, you know, and I know there's a ton of people who are like, I hate El Shadal Fusion. I hate this card more than uh, regular Shadal Fusion. I'm like, how do you hate this card more than this card? Like, if this card never existed, Shadal's wouldn't be nearly as strong, you know? Just to be able to go, all right, summon Deku Seca, lock down your back row. Oh, you have a downtown field, Shadal Fusion, send from my deck? Like, you know, if you had to if you had to send from your hand all the time, you would eventually run out of resources. But because you can go ahead and keep doing it, as long as your opponent has to summon from the extra deck, this card is just ridiculous. Uh, also, next Shadal Fusion is, I'd say in order, I'd say, Sh El Shadal, I'm just, I'd say Shadal Fusion, El Shadal Fusion, Nef Shadal Fusion. Nef Shadal Fusion is kind of, mm, it's kind of, mm, because I gotta have a face up Shadal, you know? I gotta summon a Shadal, then use it as the fusion, you know? And, uh, the good about Nef is, of course, that you can, uh, you know, you can call what attribute you want the monster to be, so it allows you to go into, like, things like Shikinaga and Gristal without having to have, you know, that. So, Maybe you not even have to run Maron anymore, because you could just use, um, um, El Shadal, I mean, Nef Shadal Fusion, but, uh, still, uh, it's Shadal Fusion, this card's dumb, but this card's dumb also, you know, Shadals are just so powerful, you know, uh, if I say, if, uh, I'd say, I can't predict what Konami's gonna do, because Konami is just dumb at this point, you know, like I said, if I was Konami, and I was gonna hit Shadals for the first time, just, you know, as a first time hit, I would hit uh, Shadal Fusion 2, and I would hit Construct, I mean, not Construct, Window to 1. I think that would be enough for a first hit. You know, Shadow Games, you know, especially now sitting, sitting here realizing Shadow Games is not as good as it used to be. Definitely not, you know. And if Konami actually pays attention to this format and then addresses Shadals in April, they'll realize that Shadow Games is not as strong as it used to be, you know. I thought, I was just, you know, I didn't know really what to hit. It was kind of a hard hit, and I saw that, you know, they hit an OCG, and I don't think they're really doing much with it. Well, you know, it's at one in OCG, and it's not really doing much here. So, uh, you know, maybe we just have two different games, you know. You know, usually we're a more controlled-based game, and, you know, they're the aggressive ones, but, you know, and we're being, Shadals, you know, the, the Shadals here in TCG are being way more aggressive than the over there in OCG land. So, you know, besides the missing uh, Super Poly, you know, this deck really went untouched, so, you know, it'll still be... Down the third best deck. So yeah. Oop. Yep. So three I shut off fusions because I felt like I was not I wasn't getting fusions. And I said this deck is really anticlimactic if you don't have fusions. So I was running uh, the three I shut off fusions. I never put in uh, uh, Nef at all. I just started trying it on daily duels. So yeah. Um. Three call of the hauntings because revival is good. The reverse free bell and also I kind of use it for sometimes hedgehog sometimes uh. Mostly Falco, and then Shinsha Shadow Games, like I said. It's not as good as it used to be. Uh, I run two Wenda. I only feel like two Wenda is necessary. I know, I've seen a lot of the more aggressive deck profiles, they run three just because they can make, just so they have, make sure that they have the kill with uh, El Shadow Fusion, so they go attack, attack, uh, El Shadow Fusion, fuse right into a Wenda, so they want to make sure that they have it. So, um, you know, I just feel like two is okay. If I need, if, if I ever run into a situation where I need three, I can always bump it up to three. Definitely three Construct, though. Construct is, like, the strongest. Definitely. Without Construct, this deck would not be nearly as good as it is, so, uh, three Construct. Um, one Shikidata. I didn't go into that often, but it's nice to have it. One Black Rose. Black Rose can be made with, uh, uh, Beast and Falco, you know. Let's go, you know. Let's go, alright. Uh, Shinsha the Shadow Game, flip up Falco, Falco, you know, summon Beast, flip up Beast, you know. Draw two, send discard one, fuse black rose, make blow up the field. I also have uh, Arcanite Magicians, pretty much the same way. Uh, Goyo Guardian, 
I don't know why I have Hermades. I guess it would be these two. Since I don't run Mathematician, that's kind of weird that Hermades is here, but yeah. And I really don't make Goryeo Guardian, though. I think I made it on Daily Duels, though. But I didn't need to. I just did it just to do it. So, mm. uh, Exiton, Cowboy, uh, King of Fire Wimp, of course, Search for Mass Chameleon, and Lavalo Chain and Castell. Alright, so, yeah, there you go. There's the deck profile for Shadali Evo. It's not the best Shadali deck. Definitely not. Like, I'm just running, you know, Evo. If I would have took if I would have took your bell out and I didn't have that one again, I, I could have just done a lot in the limit versions and stuff. You could do a lot more with this deck, so that's the reason why I decided to go ahead and move it to daily duels, so I can do more with your dolls, and also that way I can free up a day on a uh, buy and wine, so I can just have fun using just fun non-competitive bell decks. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, time being that Shadal Yubel was uh, here on Vitamin Y. And I hope you guys continue to support Shadal's on my channel on Daily Duels. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys uh, again today. Second Vitamin Y. Of course, you get uh, two. So I'll see you guys today with uh, the return of Yubel Deckers. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.